This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. The new Sword and Shield online booster packs are also available, so definitely check them out, PokedownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How amazing is that? Check it out. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. In this video, we're gonna be showcasing the most weird rogue deck ever because the Limitless TCG qualifier round number one has been postponed till next week. I actually did quite well, I uh, won two rounds and then the battle fight system exploded so that's why we're making a video about Steelix. Why not, right? It has the Tumming Fall being able to dish out 50 damage for every uh, Pokemon we discard with 4 retreat cost. You might see there's a whole lot of Pokemon in here, a lot of evolutions, there's even 3 Arcanine in here because sometimes we will evolve our Ditto into Arcanine because uh, you can get back energies and also smack 120 damage, believe it or not, on something like a Zacian is a one-hit KO. We also have Crumbamitable if we have uh, less Pokemon than the opponent, this can also one-shot Picaron, so don't sleep on these uh, evolution Pokemon, even Licky Licky can be annoying against uh, certain decks, so uh, this can all evolve from Ditto. But we also have Silvelli, so we do have a 2-1 uh, line of Silvelli in the form of uh, Ditto and Type Null. This is able to draw us cards, because we're gonna discard a lot of cards from our hand, and we need a way to draw back into them. Uh, yeah, Steelix does have a huge amount of HP, we do have Metal Frying Pan, only one. I would love to have room for more, but I opted to go for more physical copies of Pokemon so we can dish out the numbers we want. We have 3 Welders, 3 Research and then 4 of these Maniacs. These Maniacs can uh, get ourselves 3 Pokemon from the deck immediately with a retreat cost of 4. And then Onyx also has a 4 retreat cost, easy to set up. And uh, we also have ways to get things back with Lure Ball. All of these evolution Pokemon we can get back. The good news is, we can even attack with Silvelli from time to time. Being able to smack 120 damage could sometimes help out as a, an alternate attacker. So this is a Rogue deck. I cannot promise you guys we will win, but this is a video just to keep you guys satisfied until the yeah the new uh, event will start. The new event will probably be next weekend on Saturday. I was so bummed out because I uh, did so well. So we even have my deck here, Baby Blanc's Q1, so Qualifier 1. We're going to save that deck for uh, next weekend, but today it's time to go Rogue once again. I love going Rogue on the TCG Online program. That's uh, yeah highly entertaining for you guys. It don't always has to be so serious, right? So uh, in this uh, scenario... Hopefully Steelix will be able to maybe win one match, we'll see. It's a rogue deck I'm trying out and uh, we're probably up against Picaram. Picaram does have, have resistance which is a huge deal here because that means that he uh, will need, we will need an extra discarding uh, Pokemon because 240 HP we will have to regard the uh, yeah, Picaram as a 300 HP technically. Uh, thanks to, of course, the resistance. So uh, here we have it, the coin flip. We want the coin flip. We are going to go first. We are a setup deck. Setup decks always want to go first so we can get ourselves some Steelix up and rolling. Uh, we started with type null. Ah, did not want to start with this guy. I want to start with something else. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, we have Pokemon Maniac so we can get Steelix uh, rolling as quickly as possible. We already have a lot of Pokemon in the hand with a huge retreat cost and a triple accelerated energy. Uh, we even have Guzman Hala in this list. The opponent is still loading the game and uh, yeah, with this, we cannot play that on the first turn so we might even see a donk from the opponent if they have Electro Power, Zapdos can KO type null instantly. So that's a little bit scary. Yeah, the opponent has selected a starting Pokemon so we'll see how we go from there. Okay, we start first and uh, we get a Dedenne. Okay, uh, Poke Gear does not help in this scenario. Probably always going to go for. Might as well use it. We might even. Uh, yeah, Guzman Hala can find ourselves Metal Frying Pan. We can also find ourselves our uh, Giant Hearts. But well, we don't have Welder in hand. So we are just gonna pass the turn with a Lone Type Null. So the only thing the opponent will need is a Zapdos, Electro Power, Energy, and a Switch. Yeah, he does start with the Dedenne, which is a huge deal for us. Also, we did not get down any Onyx, so we're going to be fighting from behind, which is always a scary thing to see. We also don't have a Switch card, so this type no will probably uh, already be exploded in our face, unfortunately. Okay, let me know uh, if you guys were playing at the qualifiers. It was a disaster. I, I think a lot of people were not prepared for a huge amount of uh, yeah, these yeah, players chit-chatting on battle fights. like. Thousand over thousand people in uh, that tournament. So uh, looking for Voltner, maybe Quick Ball, maybe Zapdos is prized, which will save ourselves a turn. We can maybe evolve into 
we draw into like something like evolution and says we can evolve into Silvalia and immediately smack some damage. Okay, Electromagnetic Raider, probably gonna go and hunt for some Dedane, even though if he does that, he can set up a Picaram. The only thing we will need is uh, an Onyx on the field and then we can immediately respond with a Steelix. Steelix being able to one-shot that uh, huge Picaram. Maybe that will be the case, we'll see. Okay, Electromagnetic Raider, will he find Picaram? Already two energies in the discard pile, makes me a little bit nervous. He finds Stadium Navigator, a Thunder Mountain, Prism Star, all of those cards can help out. And uh, in our situation, maybe it's better if this deck goes second, now that I think about it. Because they go first, you go second, you have immediately access to your supporters. I think next time we're gonna go second, I think that is the best option for us. The opponent gets his Picaram, gets his Dedenne up and rolling, there he goes. Uh, I don't see any Zapdos anytime soon, so that's good for us. Probably gonna just gonna attach and uh, attack with Picaram. Little does he know that we can one-shot this Picaram unless he plays something like a Marnie or a Reset Stamp. Don't see any Picaram players playing a Reset Stamp as of late. The, so, yeah, only one copy of Reset Stamp, but he definitely don't play Marnie. It looks like the internet connection is having a little bit of a uh, hard time to connect over here. comes the Picaram. Attach a Thunder Mount? Really? Will he have that? Or he's just gonna hunt for it. Tapu Koko, energy switch, all these things are possible. Okay, he gets a fresh hand. He already used the supporter though, so no more Voltner for Stadium Navigator. There's two Dedenne on the field, which is good for us. Those are two prizers. I don't think we have Great Catcher. Should check. If we don't have Gust, it will be terrible. Maybe one Great Catcher. This is an insane difficult list to play because you want everything in your list this point didn't see any electric powers in the discard pile just yet all the switches are gone so energy switch tag switch is gone so we are safe we're safe from picaram already steelix in the opening hand a good insane so we got onyx onyx and they can see why they, they can see that we won we won with the steelix rogue deck okay let's try this out again shouldn't be too hard here we have one victory so the picaram did not get his first turn full blitz and they conceded so does that count? I think we would have gotten this because Steelix would have destroyed Picaram after they used Full Blitz. Afterwards, we can use Lure Bulb to get all of our Pokemon back, so we were in a great scenario either way. Okay, we are looking for an opponent. Is anybody out there that wants to face our crazy Steelix deck? There is. Let's see who it is. It's a Fairy deck. Fairy decks typically, this could be a little nine tails. Either way, fairy decks, we hit four weakness against that. We won the coin flip. I'm so doubting always. If we go second, we have access to our supports. If we go first, we can evolve the turn after that. I think I'm gonna go second, see how it goes this time. Maybe we draw into Pokemon Maniac or Research. Yeah, that's good. Immediately. Yeah, in this scenario, uh, starting first wouldn't have been better. We have Quick Ball and uh, we have Research, so I think in this scenario, just attaching the Fire Energy and going for the Research. And we are up against Whimsicott. Porygon, the, okay, Whimsicott. Interesting development. Whimsicott has an ability, which means we he has to flip Tails in order for us to hit him. Okay, Triple Accelerate Energy instantly. Okay, what do we do about that? We already have the attachment. Oh, scary. I don't want to get rid of a Triple Accelerate Energy that quickly. Okay, this guy can do nothing probably. Okay, he switches to the Cottony. Okay, we have so many discard synergy, it's insane. We're gonna go for Quick Ball. We are gonna get rid of our research. We have a bazillion research and the internet is uh, dropping out on us, so it seems. Come on internet, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, yeah, we're back. <laughs> Sorry for that, we're gonna get our Ditto out. Ditto can evolve into Sil Valley, which is in the deck. How many triple solid energies are in there? Three. Okay, we actually need. Uh, don't need to worry about that. I'm gonna smack this down. I'm gonna attach on the Onyx and I'm gonna go for a classic research. I know we're gonna get rid of one energy. Not that it matters too much. Look at that. Next turn we have everything we ever wanted. We can uh, welder. We have evolution incense. I don't think he has a reset stamp just yet. Yeah, I think Steelix will have to do the trick here. The only thing we'll need is a uh, another one. Will he play fire energies? I wonder. I wonder. Pokemon Maniac will immediately get the damage output we want, so I'm uh, just gonna pass the turn. Maybe he has Wondrous Labyrinth. Although with the triple accelerated energy, we remove the Wondrous Labyrinth. 
so I'm not worried about it too much. Here comes Whimsica GX being weak to metal, which means we have to discard two Pokemon from our hand. And if you flip Tails, we will be so glad. So people are still playing Whimsica online, so it seems interesting. Mm -hmm. What else can we do? Yeah, we're just gonna attack. Uh, yeah, the, the Pokemon Maniac will be key. He's gonna go for the, two, the toy box. Nope. Yo, Porygon. Can I get that uh, recycle? Number two. Wow, that's a strange opening hand. What is this? Never seen that uh, terrible hand in my life. He doesn't seem to have a supporter. Maybe? Maybe he's playing it afterwards. So what we need to do is evolve. Giant Heart. Energy. Okay, energy. Is Maybe he can still use the research if it's his last card in his hand. Okay, he's just switching to Porygon. Oregon can knock us out. Yeah, Porygon can knock us out. Luckily, we still have Ditto. Okay, he's still confused, which is a, a crazy thing. But we were able to one-shot this Porygon with ease. So we evolve. We can even do it with Welder at this point. We're not going to do it. We're just going to go for Triple Accelerated Energy. Going to go for the Pokemon Maniac. We need three evolutions. Uh, yeah, this is not going to work anymore. Leggy Leggy and this guy, we're gonna all discard. He can not one shot us, right? There's no Porygon Z now, we still have time. Two Pokemon right there. Yeah, I'm gonna get all of these three. Although using the Lure Ball, we can get ourselves back a Steelix. Uh, no, this is fine. This is fine as it is. Uh, Ordinary Rod can shuffle energies back. Also not gonna do that. We're gonna wait with the Giant Heart until he sl slaps something down. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Yeah, we have a good deck. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. Steelix is taking the victory here. Okay, we get one prize card. It is an Onyx. Fantastic. That's all we ever wanted. So we smack down Onyx, Welder onto the Steelix, use Lure Ball for a tree Pokemon, and hopefully we'll be able to destroy this Whimsicott. He top decks it at a Ditto. He also got a prize card, by the way. Recycle Energy is here. He's probably going to retreat to the Ditto. Keeping his Whimsicott safe. Or he's just gonna stall with Whimsicott. That's also an option. I think he should do that. With a little bit of luck, he should be able to survive this hit. We already have two triple accelerated energies in the discard pile. Okay, he switched to the Ditto. Easy. We eat that up. We eat that up. So we uh, are gonna go for the giant heart. We're gonna get rid of the Poke Gear. We're gonna get two energies instead. Ta ta. Here we go. Welder onto the Steelix. Poof, poof. Bam! We got some Pokemon. Uh, yeah, this is nice. This type null will draw us cards. First things first. Here we go. One, two. Okay, two of them. Fine. Uh, yeah. Do we attach to the Steelix? He might have Wondrous Labyrinth. Nah, I probably will never have that. Evolution Incenses for next turn. So here we go. Tumping Fall. I'm gonna get rid of the Arcanine. <laughs> Look at this deck go. Look at this deck go. Hopefully you guys are having fun with me. Okay, what else? Prize card, bam. Another Onyx, so there's worth a lot of Onyx prize. So now we need to go through this obstacle, this crazy whimsy card that is just breaking. Okay, he has Cynthia. If he has an energy, he can use energy blow. Energy blow, still needs a lot of energy. He's smacking, not a lot of damage. That's good for us. So we have two Pokemon which we can discard, then we have Evolution, Incense, we can even play Ordinary Rod to get back our energies. We only have one Welder in the deck though. One Welder left. Evolution, Incense, thinning out this list. Zip Strike, oh, okay. Will he have a Ditto or a Blitzel? This guy can attack. He can also go for Toy Box GX and I hope that we win. Maybe, because he's not going to get anywhere with this also don't see any basic pokemon we already knocked out a porygon knocked out a ditto yeah the computer is still having problems with the connection okay toy box jacks getting five cards we don't have reset stamp we don't have marnie we'll see how it, we turn out with this okay connection please we need it was it wrong maybe because of the lots of streaming today that the computer is doing some weird stuff Connection has five bars, by the way. I don't know what this problem is. Come on. Maybe I should put it a little bit to the side. Come on, toy box. Get whatever you want. 
He does have a huge amount of cards in the hand. Okay, what we need to do... Oh, yeah, Pokemon Maniac, insane. So, Evolution Incense. Finding ourselves Cell Valley GX. Ta-ta! We even have Pokemon Maniac. Uh, yeah, using another Onyx right here. I'm gonna go for the Ordinary Rod. We can shuffle some, do both. Shuffle energies, so we have Arcanine and Onyx. I think that's fine. Multiple attackers, and then two energies, or one energy for now. We have two cards in the hand, so we can just safely go for Disc Reload, drawing cards with Cell Valley. We have the attach of the turn here. We can use Pokemon Maniac, so that's a fantastic treat. Uh, Steelix, Steelix, Arcanine. Multiple Steelixes are being prepared, bro. Steelix being prepared. Iron Tail. So, we need two of them. So, Arcanines, go away. Maybe a Licky Licky. Bring some luck with me. Come on. Tails, we go through it. Okay. Okay, I had fun with Steelix. So, we're going to be playing another round. So, Steelix taking two victories. Defeating Picaram. Defeating Whimsicott. Okay. Loving this so far. We're going to be playing one more round with this crazy Steelix deck. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourself during these lockdown periods. We are safe at home. Hopefully everybody that you know is safe and well. This coronavirus is actually a huge deal for the Pokemon community and trying to get some light uh, on there thanks to this insane Steelix deck. Also against ADP, I think it's a little bit scary because we need lots of Pokemon in the hand, but it's not impossible, right? Storange is our opponent. Playing Darkness? Darkness box? Hmm, maybe that's just for the Absol. We'll see how it turns out. So I'm gonna check here. Yeah, we won the coin flip. I wonder if we should go second. I think going second is better. Would you like to go first? No. <laughs> I'm always scared to do that, but with our deck we really- Wow, look at this! We had Quick Balls and all that. If we had a Pokémon, I would've been really mad that we didn't go first. Yeah, with all these supporters, we have Guzman Hella, we have Welder, we have Research, so we need, we even have Pokegears to find them, so we need to go second, that's what we do. Alright, that's how we do it. We have Pokemon Maniac, and we even have the Guzman Hala. Finding a triple accelerated energy will be easy. Only thing I'm afraid of is, what is the opponent playing? Mewtwo! Can we one-shot Mewtwo? That is the question. Pokemon Maniac, we're gonna get ourselves an Onyx and then a couple of uh, huge evolution Pokemon. And then afterwards, we go crazy. We do have Metal Frying Pan in our deck. We can also get that out with Guzman Hala. Okay, he's getting Giratina out. Will he attack with Giratina? Nope, he's just getting out Inky. Oh, it's it's Melamar list. This is a scary scenario. Let me just be honest because we need to find our Self Valley. Self Valley draws us cards. If it's Priest, we're gonna be screwed. Okay, it's first turn. We did not see the Danny just yet, which is scared. Okay, Metal Energies? What? Okay. At this point, we have everything we ever wanted. So we're gonna go for Quick Ball. Getting rid of the Poke Gear. We have all our supporters in hand. Gonna go for Ditto. Ditto can evolve. He could have something like a Fiume, right? Ditto can evolve into Cell Valley. But he leaves our Onyx alone then. So it's fine. So we get Ditto. Ta -ta. Gonna go for Pokemon Maniac. Or do we go for the Research? Uh, Pokemon Maniac. Then having enough Pokemon. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we top deck some huge stuff. Okay. Uh, we have two Steelix, so we don't need Steelix. We need maybe an Onyx if he knocks us out. Then Arcanine, Arcanine. Arcanine can also smack damage, right? Uh, Golurk. Yeah, we already gonna play a supporter, so we might as well get a whole heap of this. So we can throw it away. We have, well, there's four triple accelerated energies in there. Okay. Three evolution incense. Interesting, indeed. Yeah, with so many lore balls. I see, I wonder how things will uh, go. Yeah, we have this. That's one, two, three, four damage, 200 damage. Maybe we should go for the two shot. We'll see. Just gonna play it safely and soundly with this. Only up against the big bad Mewtwo. Big bad Mewtwo. Okay, Viridian Forest helps us out with fire energy. He can, oh no, Marnie, no. We should have smacked down the Onyx. Okay. Should have smacked down the Onyx. At least we have a Poke Gear and two Pokemon in the hand. So, oh, Evolution Incense will get ourselves Cell Valley. Is he able to one shot Cell Valley? He has Ultra Necrozma. So, at this point, it's crazy. Potem Geyser. Okay, we survive. 
ladies and gentlemen, we, sur we survived. He did use Marnie, but we survived. Insane. Well, at this point, I no longer doubt I will get myself Sil Valley out. Gonna smack this down. Going to evolve this. We have a Lure Ball, so we might as well you. Yeah, it's not gonna matter either way, but we are gonna maybe draw some other cards with that. Pokey Gear? Nothing? Okay, that's not too bad. Energy of the turn? Nope, not gonna matter. But we do have Lure Ball, so I'm actually gonna get rid of Arcanine. Finding nothing? Yeah, we don't need an attach of the turn, we need to find Triple Accelerate Energy. And let's go with the Disc Reload. Come on, find ourselves a good supporter. Metal Frank Pan. We do have resistance and all that. Hey, that's actually not bad. The Metal Frank Pan right there. Uh, yeah, Lure Ball can be used later. Might as well use Evolution Incense right now while we're at it. Another Steelix. Acrobamable. Uh, ah, oh, this is a scary scenario. We are not going to get rid of all these cards. We will not be able to get rid of all these cards. We need to disc reload to find a supporter. So I'm actually going to whiff this evolution incense. And go with that. Okay. Steelix staring up in the fa face of the opponent. We have technically 120 HP again. Thanks to the metal frying pan and the psychic uh, resistance. If he has an attach of the turn, he can use Photom Geyser again. Okay. Arsa Valley is being punished. We need to find Guzman Hala as quickly as possible. If we find Guzman Hala, things could change around. The only thing we need to do is uptrade on this tag team. That's the only thing we need to do. Okay, he's charging up Giratina. What is he able to do? Photom Geyser again? That's gonna be, yeah, 100 minus 50 is that uh, we survived. Okay, he switches to Malamar. Going for the Marty again, come on, man. This Zack does not appreciate the Marnie. Okay, we have triple accelerated energy, so we can attack and we have a Poke Gear. Ladies and gentlemen, things could be worse. Things could definitely be worse. Okay, also the connection is doing weird stuff again. Okay, the Dene, Belacephalon is going to the offensive. Photon Geyser, we survive! We are tanking that like a champ. Okay. At this point, we can either Welder and draw cards, or, but we need lots of uh, evolution Pokemon, so I'm actually going to go for this. And next up, we are going to go for... we need lots of them, so maybe... Hmm... Pokegear? Maniac, where are you at? Okay, Maniac, that's uh, four at this point. Getting rid of... This. We need more Pokemon. Come on, getting rid of the Welder. Come on, Internet. We're getting rid of the Welder. Come on. This is possible. So we get nothing in return. We don't need it. We are going to go for Disc Reload. Come on. Lure Ball or whatever. Uh, no, Evolution Incense. Who knows? Drawing some cards. We have Quick Ball. Okay, Pokemon Maniac. Uh, at this point we get three, that's uh, five, not enough, barely not enough, scary. Okay, we need another attacker at this point, so Onyx, Arcanine, Arcanine, uh, getting rid of the Golurk. Golurk does hit for weakness though, uh, maybe we should have gotten that with the Ditto, maybe we should have gotten that, but we didn't get energies anyhow, so let's get this. So we have all of this stuff. One, two, three, four, five. We would have gotten there almost. Okay, quick ball. 130 is not bad, right? He could heal off all the damage. Could heal off all the damage. Yeah, we do have Welder for next turn, so I'm actually gonna go for Thumping Fall. One, two. We actually need our Steelix. <laughs> Only gonna smack 200 damage. Is that enough? I guess so. 200, and then next turn we strike with 400 damage. Actually, 200 damage, okay. Steelix still survives, which is the most important part. He can attack with the Giratina. Next turn, we have Steelix, we have drawing cards, we have Welder. It's gonna be fine. How many lure balls? Zero, that's fantastic. We smack damage on Mewtwo, which is the most important part. He could go for 
Marnie and all that, but we have a resistance thanks to Disc Reload, which is fantastic. Okay, energy here. Psychic Recharge. Probably setting up the Gilkina. Is there energy in this card? Okay. He can safely retreat his Mewtwo and start attacking with Giratina. Giratina can come back to an epic. Okay, just attacks with Mewtwo. Oof, interestingly enough. Okay, it's time to shine. We need to find a lot of stuff this time around. Steelix. That's one. Oh boy. This is scary. We need to welder or find triple accelerated energy. How many triple accelerated? Only one. We also need Pokemon Maniac or Allure Ball. Anything would go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that like this. I'm gonna get the welder rolling. One, two. Come on. We have the triple accelerate energy. It's insane. This guy can smack 120. Unfortunately, that's not enough. But we need to attach it to draw more cards in order to knock this guy out. Ah. Silly. Silly indeed. It's also not going to be able to one shot our Steelix, right? Either way, the card gets this card. So, do it like this. And now. Uh, yeah, how many Pokemon in this card? Enough, so we need Lure Ball or something. Disc Reload. Or Evolutions and stuff. <laughs> no, that's not what we needed. Not what we needed at all. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again. He might have a Switch card and then heal up all the damage with his Miraculous Duo, but then his Jax move is gone, at least. Ah, it's nasty. We also wasted a triple accelerated energy and we don't have energy. Uh, if he has a switch, he can go for... <sighs> this is sad. He can also Stinger. Okay. Gengar Mimikyu. <laughs> we didn't get the KO. So sad. Will he have cards? He already has a full bench. No Dedenne. He could Marnie again. There's two Marnies in his discard pile. Research. Okay. Gonna go on the offensive with Giratina. Giratina does not knock us out, which is a very safe thing of, of us. Okay, he can retreat. Go in the offensive with Giratina. Fine, we can take that. We can take that. Shadow Impact. Steelix survives. Where are our lure balls? They all seem to be gone and missing. Okay. Yeah, here is our lure ball. Way too late, man. Way too late. So, we don't need Guzma and Hollow. Although it could help with the Lysander. No, what do we have? No, not necessary. Do we need the fire energies? Probably not. Just gonna draw with Sil Valley. Here are the lure balls, they're everywhere right now. Okay, Onyx. Abominable Steelix Onyx Lure Ball. Okay, coin flips. What are you doing? These coin flips are ridiculous. Come on, one, two. Yeah, now we get two. Two Arcanines. Yeah, two Arcanines, why not? We're gonna throw them away either way. Thumping Fall, one, two. We only need to get rid of two, right? Cool. Bam. We can infinitely spam Giratina. <laughs> Let's see what we get from the prize cards. Ta -ta. We should have not one shot at this Mewtwo a long time ago. We also need to use Ordinary Rod to shuffle some uh, Steelix back in the deck. But you, I am already glad we are able to showcase what Steelix is all about. Using Cell Valley to redraw your cards. And you can infinitely spam those Malamars. You also need the attach of the turn, right? Okay, he has the attach of the turn. At some point, he will not have the attach of the turn. Mark my words. Okay, boom. There's no recycle energy there. This time, Steelix will survive. We will get another prize card. It's prize raise wise, it's pretty good. And if he comes with Mewtwo, he can never come with Mewtwo at this point. Because Mewtwo will be knocked out. Come on, internet. Don't 
discourage us from playing rogue decks. No, internet connection, please. Okay. Internet connection, he took his prize card. Come on, man. No, 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 we promote Onyx. Okay, I was scared I was gonna lose the connection for a second. Okay, we got Steelix. Uh, yeah, we still have Giant Heart. Onyx. It's probably not gonna be able to one shot us. We also have Silk Valley to attack with. Okay, Giant Heart. Get rid of this. Two cards. We're gonna just power this up manually. Bam. That's how we go. He did not put the damage this time on uh, this guy. Okay, let's go again. Lure Ball. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, two of them is fine. So we still need the Steelix and for the rest Arcanine to just knock him out. Still the Steelix is just gonna help to attack again. We also have Ordinary Rock, so. Here we go. We can also attach here. Might as well. And here we go. Thumping fall. One, two, three. <laughs> this is going great. This is going great. Getting multiple attacks off. If we had great catcher, this would be easier. I think is there a great catcher in here? If not, we should definitely put in one. Professor's research. Cool. Alright. We can always start uh, attacking with Self Valley as well. Although this guy has a huge, tremendous retreat cost. Okay, he's still attacking with Gyokin. Hopefully, he whips uh, an energy. How many energies in the discard pile? Five, six, seven, eight in play. Hopefully, he whips one. Otherwise, we will be sad. Okay, Chaotic Swell, no more energies for us. No attach of the turn. Say it. Okay, no attach of the turn. Fine. Fine with that. Pokey Gear. What do we still have left in the deck, actually? Blues Mahala. Blues Mahala, not what we need. The Evolution Incense. Ordinary Rod, that's what we need. Can safely accelerate energies, knock out or yeah, we're actually gonna lure him out. Lure him out. Okay, I'm gonna take this. Our metal frying pan is gone, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. We cannot uh, go with the research here, otherwise, we don't have any attackers left. Although, thumping fall for one and then attacking with Silvelli. Maybe. Yeah, thumping fall for 50 damage. <sighs> May not seem like a lot, but in the long run, if we f if we top back ordinary rod, we should be fine. And there's still also a fire energy left, if I'm not true, true. Yeah. Maybe one fire energy left. Okay, big charm. If we have a fire energy left, Cell Valley can also with that. Okay, this guy gets more HP than ever before. Evolution incense. Finding us nothing, there's still Lurable in here. Oh, that's the silly part. If we knock this guy out... Hmm. Interesting. We can research, then Ordinary Rot stuff back. Yeah, he's still not attacking us, so... Thumping fall. Maybe we top back the Onyx or whatever. Just gonna do it like this. 100 so this guy has 160 so I wonder if that was even necessary you can even draw out with Silver Valley if we draw into something okay we need to knock this guy out as quickly as possible giant heart not what we need we can even accelerate here but I'm so afraid of that ordinary rod would be the trick here come on disc reload draw us some cards <laughs> lure ball fantastic come on lure ball uh, only one. Only one. That's the sad, silly thing about this. Yeah, might as well get this. Only smacking 50 damage this time around. Ha. Huh. Well, maybe he waves another uh, Pokemon. He can safely attach energies there. He's still stuck in the active, right? How many switch cards? One. Only one switch card. Insane. Maybe we top back the Onyx and go from there, right? 
Oh, insane game. Three, four energies in play. Three energies there. Cherish ball, thinning out the list. Latios GX. He could attach and retreat, but then he can just... Two Malamars. If he finds an energy, we're done for. Uh, we don't have a switching card either way. Goose Mahala. Yeah, we're gonna discard these two cards. We need to find Ordinary Lot or the Onyx. Come on. Do we attach? We still have an attachment left, right? Might as well. Here we go. Disc Reload. Ordinary Lot. Fantastic. So, we are able to one shot this guy. No problems asked. And then we shuffle all these cards back, right? We're gonna do it immediately, or we're gonna keep the opponent in suspense. Ah, scary. I'm gonna do it both ways right now. So we got Onyx, we got Steelix. Yep. And we get energies for Cell Valley. Cool. Dumping ball, poof, poof, get out of here. So it's going well. If we had Great Catcher, we would have maybe won this game. He still has his GX move though. He can use that, knock us out. Who knows? He can also spread damage counters around the baby blounds. But the deck functions, I'm glad of that. Very glad, hopefully you guys are as well. Looking at the Steelix, <laughs> loving it so much. Trevenoir, okay. Do whatever you please. Do whatever you please. Research. Oh, he's almost decked out as well. I wonder who, who what is, he just has to attack with his Giratinos time and time again, I guess, to deck us out. Cherish Ball? What is he looking for? He can also sting it, right? What is this guy up to? Energies to Baby Blount. He's gonna snipe with that. He is gonna snipe with that. Scary! Yeah, if he snipes with that, we need to knock this guy out. And we don't have the resources to do it. Seeing as uh, everything already gone. And we don't have a switching card either way. 12 damage counters. Yeah, he's going after our Cell Valley. Hmm, interesting. There's no way we can get out of this active position. We want to attack. There's no welders left, right? No welders indeed. Yeah, quick ball, I'm just gonna check real quick. We have one of them and energies, but not enough. He's gonna be able to do it. We are not uh, a match for this guy, so. Yeah, attach here. Dumping fall. And that's well played. There's nothing we can do. We don't have a great catcher. If we had a great catcher, would have won this match. Anyhow, hopefully you guys enjoyed us playing with the most rogue deck ever, Steelix. Let me know in the comments section what you think about this list. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more content as we uh, professionally concede here in this match. Because we don't have any ways to attack anymore. Anyhow, hopefully you guys had a fantastic day. If you did, uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Uh, this was Zabush Tushiji signing out. Peace. Thank you.